Hello everyone, this is the editorial video for static range sum queries, a problem from CSES problem set. We are given an array of n integers and we need to process q queries in the form a, b, where in each query we need to output the sum of values in range a, b. So let's take this for, as an, for an example. We are given an array of 8 elements and we are given a query 2,4. So we will essentially need to output the sum of elements between 2 and 4. So from index 2 to index 4. We will consider 3 as our first element and then this as our second element. We need to output the sum of 2, 3 and 4. So we will need to output the sum of these three elements. And surely enough, uh, 11 is the answer for sum of 5, 4 and 2. So how are we going to solve this problem? We're going to use a very common uh, technique called prefix sum. And let me show you what prefix sum looks like. Let me copy this here and create a prefix sum. So prefix sum is essentially for prefix of i is the sum of all the elements from 0 till i minus 1. So that's how we're going to solve this problem. So sum of all the elements before 3 is 3. Sum of all the elements before 2 is 5. Sum of all the elements before 4 is 9. And sum of all the elements before 15, 5 is 14. And that's how we keep going. And whenever a query comes and we need to output the sum in a range, we can essentially output uh, the sum of r first r elements and then subtract all the elements before it and that's how we're going to solve this problem so for a query 2 comma 4 we can just output the uh, value stored in fourth uh, element of prefix sum and subtract the values before the second element of prefix sum so here I've taken the input here and then I've calculated prefix sum so how have I calculated the prefix sum uh, I'll just add the current element to the prefix sum of i minus 1 and store it in the prefix of i and for any query we will first take the input for l and r and output the difference of prefix of r and l minus 1 so that's how we are going to solve this problem i hope you are able to understand this 